Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin, welcome back to my channel. So if you missed my video last week, then surprise, I have a new background, it's pretty sick. But I mentioned in my last video that is made out of a daily calendar that I put together myself, which means I now have a lot of these little photo cards left over, and so I mentioned getting them out to you guys in some way, and that starting a Patreon I think would be a cool way to do that, and you guys seem to be interested in that, and so we now have a Kate Loves Izzy Patreon. You can click the link in the description down below to check it out, it's just one tier at $3 a month, and everyone who joins will receive one of these photo cards, and I'm going to be signing the back of them, so hopefully that's something that you guys want. But that's not all that's included on the Patreon. You also get a special role on the Kate Loves Disney Discord server if you join. And I'm also going to be doing a lot of other fun stuff on there that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Just other fun exclusive things like voting on video ideas and I'm thinking maybe we can do some watch parties in the future and just, yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of fun ideas for that so you can click the link in the description down below if you do want to check that out. But with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. So a while ago while I was doing my unboxing of the 12 Dancing Princesses castle, I said this. Her dress is so pretty. I'm so jealous. I should rank all of the Barbie movies like lead Barbie's dresses. Nobody wants that. Actually, I feel like a lot of people would want that. I want that. And basically ever since I said that it's been requested a bunch and it was a video that I did really want to do but I've been doing a lot of like top 10 lists and ranking videos recently that I kind of wanted to not do that this week and so instead of ranking all of the outfits I figured we'd just rank each one individually out of 10. So we'll start with the Nutcracker up into the new movie that's coming out this month. I'm gonna try to only go over one outfit per movie because you already have like 38 movies to deal with and so I feel like that's a high enough number as it is and I also feel like every Barbie movie has like the one main outfit from the movie that you like think of when you think of that Barbie movie. Oh, I also feel like I should say just as a disclaimer, I am in no way qualified to like judge fashion. Like my wardrobe consists of concert tees and jeans and that's about it. But either way, you know what? I'm a big Barbie movie fan and so I feel like that qualifies me in some way, shape, or form. And so either way, I'm excited. And so with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first up we've got the Nutcracker and I feel like we're starting out strong and I really don't want to give a full 10 out of 10 on the first one, but I feel like I have to. Like I feel like this dress is a 10 out of 10. It is so gorgeous. I love how sparkly the skirt is and the bodice is gorgeous with the flowers and the frills and I love the little like arm cuff things. Everything about this outfit I love so much. Like this scene too in the movie when she transforms into it is gorgeous and it looks so beautiful when she dances in it and I just I really love this dress. It's definitely one of my favorite Barbie movie dresses and I also feel like it transferred really well to the doll. Like the doll was gorgeous as well or I guess the other way around because I think that they made the dolls before they designed the movie but either way, it's great and I love this dress so much. I'm trying to think of like her other outfits in the movie, but I feel like because she's wearing a nightgown the whole time, it's kind of hard to remember. I think she wears like this purple dress at the end, which was cute as well. Yeah, I really don't remember because this dress is just so iconic. And so 10 out of 10, obviously next. All right, next one is Rapunzel. And so this one is interesting because I feel like the version of the dress that we see in the movie, I love. Whereas the version that's like on the cover of the movie and that they made on the doll, I don't love as much. But good thing we're not talking about that. We're talking about the movie dress, which I love. It's one of my favorite Barbie transformation scenes where she's painting on the dress and then she comes out with this one and it's just gorgeous. It's so sparkly. I love it. I love how big and poofy it is and her hair is so pretty too with the braids. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 as well because I feel like the Nutcracker dress was better than this one. But I do still love this one a lot. I don't know. Okay, just because of all the confusion with like the doll and like the actual movie version, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. You know, still a really good score, but like not top tier like the Nutcracker dress. <laughs> Alright, next we've got Swan Lake. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Swan Lake, I love the aesthetics of Swan Lake, but I don't know if this outfit is one of my personal favorites. Like, I like the whole idea of it, you know, it's got the feathers on it for the whole like swan concept and she's got the wings and the swan crown. But I don't know, it's not one of my favorite ones. I feel like I like the version when she's dancing in it better, or I guess when Odile is dancing in as Odette in this sort of outfit, but she's got like a shorter skirt on, it's more of like a ballet skirt. I feel like I like that one better than this one. I don't know, I like this dress, but it's not one of my favorite ones. I almost like her like village dress better than this one, that like blue one that she has. I feel like I like that one better than this one. I do like the sparkles. <laughs> oh, she's got like the magic forest sparkles that follow her everywhere she goes, the blue dots. I don't know how to rank this one. I feel like because it's a classic, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because I don't think it is as pretty as the other two. Alright, next we've got my girl, Annalise. And this dress is probably one of my favorite dresses of all time. Like if someone came up to me and said, I'll make you whatever ballroom dress you want, I would say give me Annalise's dress from The Princess and the Pauper. Like without a doubt, this would be the dress that I want in my life. <laughs> but now I'm looking at it, I don't know. I, I don't know what I would rank it though. It is beautiful. I love the pink. 
I love the little frills and I feel like this one looked great on the doll and it was pretty true to um, the movie design or I guess the other way around the movie design was pretty true to the doll design you know as much as I love this dress too part of me feels like I almost like the version that Erica wears as Annalise more the blue one than this one like I would still want this one I feel like this one is the most iconic but part of me feels like I like the blue one better. Also, I love Erica's dress as well. I couldn't talk about Prince and the Pauper's dresses without bringing up Erica's dress because it's also beautiful. Oh, I don't know what to rank this one. <laughs> I feel like because it's the Princess and the Pauper and the Princess and the Pauper can do no wrong, it's gotta be a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry, that's my bias speaking, but also I feel like it is a 10 out of 10. And I love this dress, it's gorgeous. Okay, next. Okay, Fairy Topia. See, this one's interesting because I feel like I love the version that's on the doll. Maybe that's just because I love the doll so much. I feel like it's probably one of my favorite Barbie movie dolls. But looking at this screenshot, I'm like, I don't know, this dress is not it. <laughs> it's just kind of basic. I wonder if it's just the screenshot that I chose. Like maybe if I chose something more near to the end of the movie, I would like it better. I don't know. I feel like this is another six out of 10. Like it's just a little bit bland. Like maybe it's because she doesn't have her wings yet. I don't know, I don't love this one. Let me know down below what you think of Alina's dress in the first one because, I don't know, it's not my favorite, but I love it on the doll. I feel like it looks really good on the doll. All right, next we've got my girl Annika from The Magic of Pegasus. This was actually my Halloween costume one year when I was about seven <laughs> and I loved it with all my heart. I had this little white bear that I carried around and I called it Shiver because I was Annika. Um, and I do like this dress a lot. I almost feel like I like the one that she wears earlier in the movie better though when she's skating and one lock comes the pink one I think it's on my wall. Yeah, this one. I feel like I like that one better than this one <laughs> But I don't know I also don't like how they did the doll where she's got like the transforming dress just because it's annoying either way because it's just kind of bulky um, But I do like this one and it's hard because Magic of Pegasus is my second favorite Barbie movie of all time uh, But I'll give it an eight mainly for nostalgia also because i love her crown with like the stars on it and the choker is cute too that she's got but yeah i feel like an eight is fair all right next okay next we've got mermaidia and i feel like i like this outfit a lot better than the first fairytopia it's definitely got a lot more going on with like the flowers on the bodice and then of course like the wings at the end of the movie are a lot bigger than the ones from the first movie and so that just adds to it i definitely think that this one's probably my favorite outfit that we saw alina in Hmm, but what would I rank it out of 10? <laughs> I feel like this one's pretty good. Like as far as Barbie fairy movies go, I feel like this one's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe a nine out of 10? Maybe an eight? Yeah, I think eight. I think I stand by eight. Also, whenever I think of Mermaidia, I think of like her mermaid form, but there really isn't much to judge off of that. And so that's why I picked this one because it was fun in the movie with the big end transformation. But yeah, I feel like an eight is a solid score. I stand by that. <laughs> All right, next we've got the Barbie Diaries. And this one was hard because I wasn't really too sure which outfit to pick for it. Like, I feel like the one that comes to mind when I think about this movie is the one that the doll is in with like the pink shawl thing and the jeans. But just because all the other ones on this list are kind of like the ones that they used after their big transformation at the end of the movie. That's why I picked this one because it's like her dance look. Um, but I don't love it. <laughs> like, I know it is very like of its time, but maybe it's because the animation that it makes it look not as good too. And it's just hard to kind of visualize it because, I don't know, it's not on a real person. <laughs> well, I guess none of the other ones are on a real person either. But there's just something about this animation where it's supposed to look more, like, realistic. Um, yeah, this dress was interesting. <laughs> but see, I love the Barbie diary so much that I, like, don't know what to give this as a score. Okay, wait. So I gave Alina a 6 for her first look, and I feel like that's the lowest score so far. And so I feel like Barbie Diaries Barbie should get a 5. <laughs> Okay, so now we have Genevieve from The Tall Dancing Princesses, and I love this outfit so much. Maybe I'm just biased towards like ballerina dresses, but I don't know. I just feel like it's so pretty. We've got a beautiful bodice with the flower in the middle and the petals along the neckline. Is that what that's called? And then the little puff in the sleeve, and then they're like cut off at the elbows and the skirt is so sparkly, and I love how it's like a gradient effect from like a darker to a lighter pink. It's just so beautiful. I love this outfit so much. I almost feel like this would be another 10 out of 10. But then I feel like, did I give Annalise a 10 out of 10? I think I did. So yeah. Then I also agree that this one is a 10 out of 10. Because I was going to say like, I don't know if this one's better than Annalise's. And I feel like this one was perfect for the movie too. Like with all the dance sequences, I just feel like it looked so beautiful. And the doll is great too with like the spinning dress. 
Um, yeah, I really like this one a lot. 10 out of 10 from me. Oh, okay, so Magic of the Rainbow. You know, I do love how this version of Alina has become like a pride icon. I think that that is wonderful and <laughs> I love that for her. And the skirt is very sparkly, We've got a fun rainbow bodice. I don't know. I feel like this one is a solid 8 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10 for the gays. <laughs> No, I do feel like this one is cute and I like it, but I don't know if it's like 10 out of 10. So like maybe an 8, maybe an 8.5. Let's say 8.5. I feel like that's a solid score. And I also feel like the dress transformation in the movie was pretty good as well. So yeah, 8.5. Next. Okay, next we have the Island Princess and I apologize to my Island Princess stands. Um, I'm one of you. I'm also an Island Princess stan, but this dress is just really not my favorite one. I do not like the peacock feathers around the back. Maybe if there was more nostalgia attached to this movie, then maybe I would like this outfit more. Or maybe it's just the same thing with like um, Swan Lake, how I didn't really like her big wings. I just don't really like the big feathers. And I don't really love the silhouette in this dress either. I feel like it's a bit bland and like the wrap with her arms. I don't love it. <laughs> And I don't love the blue, it's just, I don't know. I will say I like how sparkly it is. Um, and the blue does work like in terms of like the character. Like I feel like the blue is fitting. But I don't know, I never really loved this outfit and I feel like it was kind of awkward when she danced with the prince having like the big feathers and when she like ran away crying, I don't know. This one wasn't one of my favorites but I did like the transformation sequence when they're all like preparing her dress, that was fun. So I don't know, I feel like I might give this one a six out of 10. I apologize. Okay, next. Ooh, Mariposa. So this one is definitely one of my favorite ones. It's so beautiful. I don't even know like where to start. I love the petals on the skirt. I feel like it looks so full and beautiful. And the shoes, how they come up her leg. I love when they do that. I feel like it's so adorable. <laughs> and I also love the butterflies on her bodice. And also the attachment of the bodice to like her neck. I don't know <laughs> what that is, but I think it looks really beautiful. And then her wings are so gorgeous and sparkly and the little flowers in her hair. Like I feel like this design is definitely another one of my favorite Barbie movie designs. And I feel like I gotta give it another 10 out of 10. This one's gorgeous and I love it. And I also feel like it looks gorgeous on the doll. Like the Mariposa doll is just oh, one of the best Barbie movie dolls. Hands down. I love this look a lot and it's beautiful. So 10 out of 10. Next. Ooh, Diamond Castle. Okay, so I feel like I've definitely mentioned before that I don't love the aesthetic of the Diamond Castle, but looking at this dress now, I'm like, that's really pretty. I really like it. Like for some reason, I feel like pink and orange shouldn't work together, but I feel like they do here. I also love Alexa's dress as well with like the purple and blue, I believe is her color scheme, but I picked Liana because she's the, like the Barbie version in this movie, you know, like the blonde one. She's the Barbie character. But yeah, I actually really like this. Maybe it's just the screenshot that I chose, um, but I feel like the skirt is really beautiful. I have like the orange pieces on top of it and the bodice looks really pretty too and all the sparkles. I feel like it looks really pretty in this picture. Maybe it's just this picture, but either way, I feel like this is a 10 out of 10, maybe? Nine out of 10? 9.5? You know what? Go big or go home. This is a 10 out of 10. I love the diamond castle. And so sure, 10 out of 10, why not? I make the rules. Okay. <laughs> Next. Oh, okay, so Barbie in a Christmas Carol. So there's a few outfits for this one I feel like I could have chosen. I went with this one because it's like the one from like the story in the movie, but Barbie does wear this like white dress at the beginning of the movie. Um, I feel like another reason why I picked this one is because I like it better than the white dress at the beginning of the movie, but it was the white dress that I think was chosen for the Barbie holiday doll that year. And so props to that. But I feel like I like this dress a lot better. I really like the floral patterns on the top half. And I like how thick the skirt looks on her. Like how it's draped like that. And the big bow. And the bows on the side of her, um, on her shoulders. And the big white gloves. I don't know. There's something about this look. I feel like it's very elegant. And I like it a lot. It's very different from the other Barbie movie dresses. But I still feel like it works. I feel like it's really pretty. And so, hmm. 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. I feel like 8 out of 10 is good. Like I wouldn't want to wear it but I respect it, you know? <laughs> I feel like it's really pretty. So yeah, I stand by that. Next, ooh, Thumbelina. So this was one where at first I was like, I don't like this dress, but seeing it like up close, I feel like I like it. Like looking at it in a very high resolution photo, I feel like it's really cute. Like how the skirt is so sparkly and it has like this design in it to make it look like a flower petal, which I think is really cute. And then the flower on top and the big petal wings. I just feel like this is a really cute little outfit. I don't know. I feel like it's cute and I feel like it fits the character well. Like it's not this big Barbie ball gown, but it still works, you know? I don't know, maybe an eight or nine, 8.5 to be safe. Yeah, this one's cute. 
I like it. Ooh, okay, the Three Musketeers. Now this one was hard because I feel like there's like two looks I could have chosen. I went with the ballroom look because it's more of like, I don't know, fits in with the other Barbie movies. But I almost feel like I like the look that she wears at the end better when she's fighting the the dudes, being her musketeer self. Um, but I do still really like this outfit. Oh, I think it's pretty. <laughs> I like this skirt. It's very pink, but I like pink, uh, so that works. I like the puffy sleeves. And yeah, I like when she takes off the bottom half and then fights the bad people with it. And so I feel like this is another 10 out of 10. I also like her hair. <laughs> How she has like the ribbon in it. I feel like that's really cute. And the mask is fun. And it looks good on the doll as well. Or maybe, I don't know. I feel like it's... Maybe... <sighs> Now, I'm not sure if it's like worthy of a 10 out of 10. Like maybe a 9 out of 10? <laughs> no, I don't care. 10 out of 10. Next. Oh, okay. Mermaid tail. See, I find the mermaid ones hard to judge because I'm like, <laughs> like they're a mermaid. There's only so much you can do. And I feel like it's hard to compare them to like the outfits where they're in like a full on ball gown or a ballerina outfit. And also for some reason, when I look too long at a mermaid, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Like is that is that weird? It's just like look at a person where like half of them They're not a person. They are a fish <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know about that <sighs> Okay, so to try to think about this like critically she has a very sparkly tail Lots of patterns going on and the bathing suit top sort of thing. It's cute and the crown I don't know. It's hard to compare it to the other ones. I don't hate it. <laughs> I just like don't know how I feel about it if that makes sense maybe like a six or a seven I'll say a seven because I do like mermaid movies ooh fashion fairy tale okay this one's interesting because for some reason when I was gathering these photos I thought that I would have this one ranked pretty highly but looking at it now I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> I just feel like it's a lot to take in. It's very sparkly and I know that that was like fitting for the movie because they had that sparkling machine that made things sparkly but I'm just like it's a bit too much for me. I don't really like the belt either and the poofiness of the skirt. I just feel like I don't love the silhouette how it goes like out and then down like that. I don't know and the big like thing on her chest. <laughs> I feel like it looks a little bit tacky and I'm so sorry because I know I do have some strong fashion fairy tale stands watching this and I apologize but I feel like I gotta give this one like a 6 out of 10. I don't love it but I do like the movie and so I feel like that's making me be very biased towards this outfit and it was a big moment you know when she came on the runway and she was wearing this and it was like yes and then Ken comes and she's like Ken and he's like I didn't mean to break up with you like it's an iconic dress it's just not one of my favorites and so I feel like 6 out of 10 is what I've, I've got to give it a 6. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. A fairy secret. So I feel like this dress, I thought I was going to give it a low score, but now that I'm looking at it, I actually feel like it's kind of cute. Like I don't think it looks very good on the doll. See, that's one thing I will say about Fashion Fairy Tale. I feel like it looked really good on the doll, but fairy secret, mm, not so much. But I feel like the screenshot actually makes it look kind of cute. <laughs> And I feel like the wings go really well with it. And it was very like accurate to the time that the movie came out in. I don't know, I feel like I wanna give it like an eight. <laughs> Maybe that's me being too kind and I just really like this movie because it's really funny. Um, okay, wait, but I gave Fashion Fairy Tale a six. So I feel like I gotta give this one a seven. Like I'm not, I can't be too generous here. I feel like this is a seven, but yeah, I feel like this one's nice. <laughs> All right, next. Ooh, Princess Charm School. So this is one that I feel like probably looks the most accurate to the doll. Like I look at the top bodice part and I'm like, that looks like it's plastic, which I guess is good because that's what it looks like on the doll. And I like the bow, how it's got like the plaid thing from the uniform. And I feel like it looks cute in the movie from afar. Maybe you just don't zoom in. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And this is hard because I know people love this movie so much. And I don't hate this dress. I just don't. I don't love it. It's not one of my favorite ones. I feel like it's a solid 8, right? <laughs> like an 8 out of 10? I like it. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. A perfect Christmas. She looks like a candy cane. See, my sister Carrie had this doll and she also watched this movie a lot and so I feel like I'm very biased towards it. And it's a musical, so I like that as well. But I don't love the dress. <laughs> I just, I don't love it. It's very like stripey and I guess it's like a mermaid cut. Is that the correct term? Uh, it's a lot. They did something. <laughs> Was it a good something? That's the question. 
I feel like this might be my first 5 out of 10. Like it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not the best thing in the world. So yeah, 5 out of 10. Sorry Barbie. Next is Mermaid Tail 2. I feel like I like this one better than the look from the first movie. Um, her tail has got like a gradient sort of, like from pink to orange to like a yellowy kind of color. So that's cool. And I like her swimsuit better in this one, I think. Yeah, I feel like I like this one better. What did I give the last one? I think I gave it a 6. I feel like this one's a 7. But I think this is the best mermaid look I've seen so far. It's also the second one I've seen so far, so <laughs> not much to compare it to, but yeah. 7 out of 10, next. Ooh, Princess and the Pop Star. Okay, now as you guys know, not one of my favorite Barbie movies. I am the first one to criticize the Princess and the Pop Star. However, I do really like this dress. I feel like it's really pretty. It's not too much, but it's like enough. <laughs> you know, like I love the sparkles on the bodice and I like the silhouette of it. Um, and I like the way that it's like cut. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but like the little, um, the edges on the bottom of the bodice I think are really pretty and the bow around the waist, how it's like raised up a bit. And yeah, like I said, Princeton and the Pop Star, not one of my favorite Barbie movies, but I do really like this dress. I mean, maybe this is just a really good screenshot of it because I feel like at other times in the movie, it probably does look a bit more like, kind of like fashion fairy tale where it's just like too much. But in this screenshot that I'm looking at right now, I feel like it's pretty cute. I also feel like I like this one better than the outfit that Kiara wears, like the purple mullet skirt sort of thing. Not a big fan of it, but I do like this dress in this particular image. So I feel like I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. That's probably the highest score I'll ever give anything Prince and the Pop Star related, but I'm here for it. I like this look. Ooh, Barbie in the pink shoes. This is one of my personal favorite Barbie movies. I feel like it's really funny and people don't give it enough of a chance because of the year it came out, but I love it. I think it's great. This outfit, however, it's not one of my favorites. I feel like I like the dress that she wears better in the finale, like, dance scene where she's defeating the evil person. I don't remember. It's been a hot minute since I've rewatched this movie. Um, but I feel like I like that dress better than this one. This one is not my favorite. <laughs> so maybe um, a six? And that's interesting, too, because I feel like most of the other, like, ballet sort of looks, I've given higher scores. This one's getting a six. <laughs> But that's how I feel. All right, moving on. Mariposa and the Fairy Princess. I actually like this look. It's definitely not as good as the first Mariposa movie, but I feel like it looks okay here, which is surprising to me because I really don't like it on the doll. But maybe that's just because they have like this really big mechanism on the back of the doll to do the wing changing thing. What should I give this one? I feel like this is a seven. I feel like this is a solid seven. <laughs> I love how sparkly the bodice is and the wings too. Very sparkly and very big. And they got like the petal thing going on with the skirt as well. So yeah, what did I say? Seven? Eight? Uh, seven. Okay. Seven? Yeah, that's a seven. All right, moving on. Ooh, this is uh, Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. I do not like this dress. This might be one of my least favorite Barbie looks of all time. I feel like this is hideous. <laughs> they made some choices on this dress and they were not good choices in my opinion. I don't like how um, the strappy thing comes around and then like the bodice part like poofs out and then there's a skirt like underneath it. I don't like that. I don't like the shade of pink. I feel like it's like a magenta-y sort of color, but I don't love it. And then the star designs on it, I don't like it either. And the shoes, not a big fan of those either. But I feel like the main thing that I don't like about the dress is the like poofy out and then flat bit if you know what I mean like I feel like it's just not a pretty silhouette I feel like I'd give it like a zero out of ten I really don't like it I think it's really ugly if you like this dress that's great <laughs> I personally do not zero out of ten I'm sorry Barbie next oh okay pearl princess hmm see another mermaid look and I'm looking at it and I'm like she looks weird because she's half fish which is weird like I feel like I've always liked the idea of mermaids and thought that they looked nice but for some reason looking at these barbie images i'm like Ugh. i don't love the wrap around thing and i don't love her swimsuit top i definitely think the second mermaid tail outfit was better than this one but it's also it's just hard with mermaids to make them look good <laughs> i do like this movie i like pearl princess like i said i think in my last video it's like rapunzel but with fish um, which was a fun concept, but I don't love this look. I feel like I'd give this one a 4 out of 10. I'm sorry, Pearl Princess. You're a great movie, but you don't compare. I do like how she's got, like, some pearls on her, like, arms, I think. <laughs> and I like her hair, how she's got, like, pink tips. That's fun, but I don't like this look. 4 out of 10, I'm sorry. 
Oh. <laughs> We've got secret door here. For some reason, the flowers on this dress like look like peppermints. <laughs> I feel like the bodice is okay. Like if I looked at just the top half of the dress, I feel like it wouldn't be as bad, but I just don't like the bottom. It's just too much. I feel like five out of 10, it's not for me, but I don't think it's that bad. See, this sucks because I love her yellow dress in the movie. Like this is not the best look on Alexa, but this was the final look of the movie, so it's the one that I gotta talk about. I also feel like her look earlier on, like before this transformation, was better, but I'm having a hard time remembering exactly what it looked like. One dress that I did really like in this movie though was the fairies. I feel like she got a really cute dress, and like I said, I liked her yellow dress from the beginning of the movie as well, but this one... not for me. <laughs> 5 out of 10. I'm sorry, Alexa. Okay, Princess Power. I actually don't hate this one. Which I feel like might be surprising because it definitely has like fashion fairy tale vibes if you get me. But I like how the top of the dress is like white and then it goes into pink. And then the layers, I feel like they kind of look like superhero-y, which fits with the movie because she's a superhero. It's very sparkly, which I love. But I just, <laughs> I just don't know how I feel about it. You know, like if I were to give it a number out of 10, what would it be? I'd say a five. I think, I think that's a five. <laughs> oh, Rock and Royals. See, here's the thing. I love Rock and Royals. I think it's a great movie. This dress, however, <laughs> not so much. You know, I feel like I'd like this dress a lot better if they didn't have those like squiggly lines on it. I don't know why they look like that, but I don't like them. And then how it's like white and then pink. Like, I feel like if it was more of like a gradient, it would look a lot better, kind of like, um, like Princess Power. And I feel like the pink dress that she wears later on in the movie is better than this one. I think this is another four out of 10. I don't like it. And I feel like it's a bit too poofy too. It's just a bit too much. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is just proof that like all the newer Barbie movies suck. But I don't think that they do. I do like a lot of the newer ones. Like I said, I think this movie is great. This dress, however, this is not for me. All right, moving on. Oh, okay, Great Puppy Adventure. See, this one's funny because I feel like it's very true to the time it came out in. Like the whole like shirt and like frilly skirt thing was definitely a thing at the time this movie came out. Has it aged the best? <laughs> Maybe not, but I also don't hate it. Like I feel like it's cute and it like just reminds me of the time it came out in. And so maybe like a six? I feel like she tried to do something here and it kind of worked. I like the skirt. The skirt's pretty. I always got like the frills and the sparkles and I like the pattern on the top and the necklace is kind of cute because that was another thing at the time too like the really chunky necklaces and so yeah I feel like I can't hate on it just because it is a little bit outdated I almost feel like it's something that Teddy would wear from Good Luck Charlie and I like the other girls outfits in this shot too okay Spy Squad so Spy Squad's hard because I feel like when you think of Spy Squad you probably think of like her spy outfit but to like fit in with the other ones I picked this one because it's like the ballroom look and it is quite a pretty dress I think so at least I like the sparkly top and how it's got like this ribbon thing and this like flower thing and the layers on the skirt and the little slit at the bottom. I like this one. I feel like this is an 8 out of 10. Good job, Spy Squad. I feel like I ranked it like second or third lowest on my list and so I find it funny that I like this dress, but I do. I think it's cute. All right, moving on. Ooh, Starlight Adventure. <laughs> one of my favorite Barbie movies. Or maybe it's just one of my favorites now, like looking at it because it's so different in comparison to the other movies. Um, but I actually really like this look. I feel like it does look a bit plasticky on the top and it's got a lot going on, but I still really like it. It is a mullet skirt, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's not too much of a mullet skirt, you know? It only like has a little bit of a dip in the back. And I like her armband thing with the stars and I don't know, I feel like it fits in really well to the movie. I can't go as far as giving it an eight out of 10, but I feel like a seven out of 10 is decent, right? I like the doll of this one too. I feel like it transferred decently to the doll except for the fact that I feel like the top part was painted on. Not 100% sure because I do not own this one, but I like this look. 7 out of 10. Ooh, the puppy chase. <laughs> this was her look at the end of the movie during the dancing horses thing. And I feel like it's actually really cute. Like I would probably still wear this. I like the boots. I feel like they're still in style and the jeans. I mean, they're just jeans. <laughs> <laughs> and the shirt is pretty with the layers and the gradient from the pink to the yellow and her flower thing in her hair. I feel like this is a decent look. Like, it's not a big ball gown, which is hard to compare it to like a big ball gown, but I feel like it's still cute. I feel like this is an eight. So Barbie got lucky here because when I think about Puppy Chase, I think about that god awful like yellow skirt with the black polka dots, which is just like not it. But I do like it. I think it's cute. Next we have Video Game Hero. 
See, this has got a lot going on, but I don't hate it, surprisingly enough. I actually think it's quite cute. She's got like a skirt with like the pink plastic bit. What's that called? I don't know, but Luna wears it on Soy Luna a lot and I think it's cute. Well, not like a lot. She wears it for like competitions. Um, the season two finale is coming to mind. Here's me again, bringing up Soy Luna in a video that is not Soy Luna related, but whatever. And then she's got the underskirt white bit with like the emojis on it. And like, I know it's a lot going on, but I feel like it fits in with the theme of the movie. You know, it's very video game-esque and I think it's actually really cute. So I'm gonna give it a seven because this is my channel and I do what I want. <laughs> I also like her big ponytails. I think those are cute as well. All right, next, Dolphin Magic. Okay, so this one was hard because I feel like when I think about Dolphin Magic, I think about like her wetsuit outfit, which is pretty cute as well. Um, but I chose this outfit to compare because it's the one that she wears um, when they go out to dinner and sing Treasure because it's like, I guess her more dressed up look. And it's better to compare to the, this one, I think, to the other ones. Um, and I don't hate this look. I like the skirt and the shirt is cute too. It fits in with like the island sort of theming. It's definitely more basic than the other ones, but I feel like I don't hate it. I feel like a six out of 10. Is that fair? <laughs> Maybe I should have compared um, the mermaid's dress. She's got like, um, like a blue sort of dress thing that's cute, but I don't know. Next up, ooh, Princess Adventure. And so Princess Adventure, she's got like two main looks. This one, which is the one that Barbie wears as the princess. And then there's like the main like princess one but this one i feel like is the one that you think of when you think about princess adventure i don't know who designed this movie i talked about this in my review for this movie but i feel like the fashions that they chose were just not it like it looks very like mid 2000s like live laugh love era sort of like children's or even toddlers clothing it just doesn't look nice on barbie i feel like and also why are we bringing back mullet skirts i thought we were over the mullet skirt but i do like the color scheme sort of like it's not too much it is a bit much, <laughs> but it's not too much. But this look in particular, I like how the skirt is very sparkly. I feel like there is a moment in the movie where she takes the jacket off, like the purple fuzzy jacket thing. And I think it looks a lot better with the jacket off than it does here. I'd probably give this one a three out of 10. It's really not for me. However, I feel like I like the other one better. The one where it's like the blue outfit, where she has like the pink top and the blue skirt with the stars on it. I don't think it's that much of an improvement, but I do like it better. This one, I feel like, yeah, the princess looks were not it in my own personal opinion. Okay, and so now we got Barbie and Chelsea, The Lost Birthday, which is the new Barbie movie that's coming out this month, supposedly, even though we haven't gotten a trailer or anything about it, but rumor has it, it's coming out this month. Um, and this is the only screenshot I was able to really find. And it's just Barbie in a swimsuit and she's got like a towel sort of skirt thing around her waist. So it's kind of hard to judge, um, but I feel like it's cute. I don't know, six out of 10. <laughs> like I'd wear that swimsuit and the skirt thing is cute and the sunglasses are fun. And yeah, I don't know if this is actually gonna be like her main look in the movie or not because we haven't really seen much from the movie, but yeah, sure, six out of 10. <laughs> Why not? And then there is also another Barbie movie I heard coming out in the fall. It's another musical and it sounds really great, but I wasn't able to find any like actual shots from the movie. Just a few photos of like what the dolls are going to look like, which is kind of not fair to compare when I've only been talking about like movie shots in this video. Overall, I'm just excited that they're making Barbie movies again. Princess Adventure must have done really well for them to not only just make one in a year, but two in a year. Like, I don't care. Say what you want about the new Barbie movies, but I think that they're really fun. Like the fact that kids are now going to be able to grow up watching Barbie movies again, just like I did, just makes me really happy. And it just bugs me when people are hating on things that kids are clearly enjoying. And so that's why I try really hard not to hate on these movies, but instead give my own valid criticism towards them. And so yeah, let me know down below which dress was your favorite from this video. Like I said, even though I was giving high praise to some of these ones, Annalise is probably still my favorite one out of all of them. And so yeah, let me know down below which one is your favorite. I can't wait to read all about it. Anyways, Skater Tots, that is all I have to say for today. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon.